I want to show you guys this water capture at. And basically what it does is um, more voltage is coming out than with the voltage you're putting in. Uh, it's very simple to make. Um, that's the voltage in the battery right now. It's a dead 9 volt battery. It's way past dead, but that's the voltage in it. And it's really simple to make. All you need is a clear plastic cup, aluminum foil, and tape. On the outside, I wrapped about two inches, about two inches of aluminum foil, which is this, all the way around. All the way around. This is important. This is aluminum foil, about two inches. Two inches from here to there. And then on the inside, I put aluminum foil completely around the inside. Just like so. Completely around. Alright. And basically what that does is this plastic of the cup acts like an insulator. So basically this is a primitive capacitor. And then what I do is I fill it up with just regular old tap water. Alright. And that's the voltage on it right now. 3.90 or 3.91. It's trying to go up. Um, it, it works about, about any batteries really, but uh, I shoot for like 9 volts. They work the best. But like I said, this piece, 2 inches this way, wrapped all the way around. And the inside of the cup, aluminum foil wrapped all the way around. So these, this piece of aluminum right here, and this aluminum around here, it, these two are not touching. They're separated by the plastic of the cup. All right. Then you fill it up with water. Fill it up to about right there. With water. That's about where you want it. All right. And the outside aluminum foil has your positive of your nine volt, and this piece, the inside aluminum foil. This is your negative. Alright, you're going to take your meter. You're going to take the positive of your meter and hook it. The positive of your meter, hook it up to the positive of the battery. Alright? Now the negative of your meter, you're going to take it. I'm going to disconnect mine from the negative so we're not reading any voltage right now. You're going to take a half inch piece of aluminum. Alright, half inch piece of aluminum. Well, thin as possible seems to work the best. Alright, remember we had 3.90 volts in it before and look what we have now as I barely put this in there. 4.15, 4.16, and like I said that's just regular old tap water. And I know some might be saying this is a galvanic reaction, but you can't have a galvanic reaction between two similar metals. It only works with two dissimilar metals. And if it was, the voltage is not that great. I tested it out aluminum with aluminum. You get about anywhere from negative 10 millivolts to positive 10 millivolts. And it's not at constant. constant. This pretty much stays at a constant. And it's going to go down, and it usually stays above, I don't know, point, on this meter scale, it usually stays about point zero five above what's in the battery's voltage, what's in the battery. <clears throat> but you can fine tune it and move it around. See, when I touch it, now we're reading the voltage in the battery. But you do this, you take it off, you get more voltage. And like, the more, the less you half of it in the water, the higher the voltage. Quite weird. But, you have more voltage coming out than what's being put in. Again, that's in the battery, and this is what's in the water cap trap. So, pretty simple, easy to make. Uh, tell me what you think.